Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Rogue Legacy. And this is a really, really awesome game. Um, it's made by Cellar Door Studios or Games or something like that. Um, this is the coolest game ever. I will show you why too. Um, so there's our first character. Um, I'm not sure if he has the same name every time or if it's different. Um, so, basically, what's going on is we have a knight, and now we're going to actually be playing. So what's going to be happening is I'm going to be running around this little dungeon. Uh, this is the tutorial level, by the way. Um, and I'm just trying to scrounge around money. So, I've played this a bunch lately, so that way I could try to get better at it, because it's a really, really tough game, um, and hopefully I can get better and not die, because the whole focus of the game is like dying and getting more money, so hopefully I can try to get as much money as I can in one run before I die, and uh, hopefully it'll be successful, because uh, what happens is I'm going to get to the end of this. Well, you know what? We'll just enjoy the tutorial for now because I don't want to spoil anything. So let's try to get as much money as we can. Alright, you see there? The little chicken leg gave me more health. And money just racks up and everything. And you can also get little mana potions that restore your mana. I don't know what skill this guy has. He doesn't, actually. Alright, so... You just... For the tutorial level, pretty much, you just walk around and it'll tell you what to do, and you just break stuff to get money. Uh, you walk in here. And... There's this guy. Press X to attack. So, boom! Boom! Rogue Legacy. So pretty much, you kill that guy, and I guess you're supposed to think that your your character is dead, so you start your legacy. And now we're this guy. So we get a little training dummy here, and this is the actual like start of the game. Uh, you can see up in the top left my health and everything, and we're just gonna walk into the dungeon. So it says building, uh, and every dungeon is unique. Um, there's no two dungeons alike, unless you get the architect later, which that's a different story. So we'll we'll wait. Um, there's this little book here which tells you something about the storyline, but I don't really understand the storyline very well. So journal entry number one: Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my s siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter, enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time Im immemorable. Er, I don't know what word that is. Normally I'm pretty decent with words, but I don't know what word that is. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure an ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay sleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. So I kind of understand a little bit more now. Oh, did I just get hit? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, get hit. Okay. So, you have limited health. Um, and every every dungeon's different. So, we gotta try to be careful about health and stuff. Um, but, what happened was, I guess I was playing as the assassin in the beginning. And I, I killed the king. Or, hurt him. And now I'm playing as the king's son, trying to get a cure. So, pretty much, what happens is oh gosh it gets really tough so bear with me I'm actually not gonna go in this room it's pretty hectic 
And I have two health left, I didn't even notice. Um, but I have skills. Um, just because this guy's... Oh. These guys are pretty hard, actually. They use a lot of hardcore magic. Uh, but you'll find treasure chests, which give you pretty decent amounts of gold. Um, and you basically just go through the castle and try not to die as much as possible. And... Okay, gotcha. Uh, some, some rooms are more hectic than others, and some rooms will have, uh, like, random, like, stuff in them. Um, and you'll see what I mean later. Um, so different enemies and stuff. I almost got killed there. And you just run through the castle, and we haven't even got to the best part yet. So, once we die, you'll see what I really mean about um, this game. It's really cool. Um, I don't understand rooms like this, because there's not really a way to get inside there to get that little chest, which kind of makes me mad, because I can't get it. I don't know. We'll keep going, though. Oh, some of these guys, I'm, I'm really hanging on by a thread here with two health. I'm getting tons of gold though, which is really, really good. Uh, the more gold you have, the better upgrades you get later. Ah, oh, that was retarded. Uh, oh. So, Sir Lee has been slain by a Doomvis, which is a... I guess it's like a canvas, but it's a Doomvis. In options, you can disable quick drops, blah, blah, blah. Gives me a tip. And choose your air. So this is where it gets good. Um, so as I come back here, this guy was a legendary knight. I guess this is the king, I assume now. Uh, there's the guy we were just playing as, and now we get to pick one of three of his sons or daughters. So the first one is Sir Kotaki. Interesting name. He's a barbarian. Uh, walking tank. This hero can take a beating. So I assume he has more health. Uh, trait. All of them have different traits, which is really the coolest part of the game, because this one has baldness, which isn't really going to affect gameplay. Uh, his spell is an axe. He, he throws a gigantic axe. Um, this person's a mage, a powerful spellcaster. Every every kill gives you mana, which is nice, uh, because he actually has the scythe skill, which is really, really helpful. Uh, traits, he has two. He's an endomorph, so he's so heavy that enemies can't knock you back, which kind of affects gameplay, but not too much. Um, and then I E or E I D M E M, so you can or you remember things with extreme clarity. Uh, this one's a knave, a risky hero, low stats but can land devastating critical strikes, so he can get critical hits. He has ADHD, which makes him energetic and move faster, uh, which is good for gameplay. Um, nearsighted though is really bad uh, anything far away is blurry it actually puts like a little circle radius around your character and then anything outside that radius gets blurry and it's really annoying to me so we're gonna play as this guy just because he has or well I don't know uh, this guy's actually probably gonna be the best because um, I don't get knocked back and I remember stuff good so Plus he has the Scython Mage. So, first thing we got here, this is where you build your little castle. Uh, I like it. Um, so it's 50 gold, and it unlocks the smithy for us, where we can buy upgrades and everything. So, boom. Unlocked smithy. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veri <laughs> veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory so you have to get blueprints to get more stuff uh, and he starts off with a very limited uh, selection so I think I want to upgrade well I'll, let's go right into the game um, and try to buy some armor and I think there's one weapon upgrade two armor upgrades and that's about it for now uh, so we definitely want the sword 
and now we're probably not going to have enough for anything else. Well, we can get the helmet, or no, we can't even get that. So, helmet for sure. And then you want to have as less as as low amount of gold as possible when you go into the castle because you're going to see this guy here. And then he says, "One must pay the toll." And then you have to give him all of your money to proceed back into the castle. So you want to you want to end up with as with the lowest amount of gold you could possibly have. Uh, when you want to go back into the castle, so you got to really spend your money wisely. So you can't save up money or anything. So you got to be really cautious, and you got to try to get as much gold as you can throughout these levels. So oh, I hate these. Nope, oh, I got hit. All right, sight skills good. Uh, really helps out a lot. Okay. I hate those guys right there. They shoot three fireballs and they're annoying. Alright, that one right there is a Doombus. So you hit it, and then it's going to fly around in a circle. Come on. Bam. We almost died there, actually. We only have, like, a little bit of health left. Okay. Are any of these Doombuses? No, actually. But either way, we've got a chest, which is good. So more gold. Uh, we already have 350, as you can see up there in the top left. Alright, so... The only thing that's weird about this game is it's a 2D side-scroller. Uh, but it's really cool, uh, because this is like the only game that I've seen that's like this at all. And it really gives a unique style of gameplay. So, I like it a lot. Uh, no. <laughs> There's a fairy chest in there, which is always good. Uh, fairy chests are like special chests that you can get um... oh that was retarded uh... fairy chests give you like really special items and stuff but you have to do some sort of objective to get them to open so yeah um... lady winry has been slain by a corrupt knight so the best thing about this is we get to keep all of our upgrades and stuff but we just have to pick a new character and most of the characters have Diff er, every character has different traits and stuff so you have to try to be careful with who you pick uh... so seven you're very talented with a few issues so i i played as that one a bunch but i've never really figured out what it meant uh... this one's very flexible but it's a knave all of these are knaves so either this one or that one and i like the axe skill better so we're gonna play as this guy Um. Let's increase our HP. Um, and the other upgrade is 200 gold. So if we buy this one, yeah, we'll have 20 gold left. So come down here, buy the boots, and now we have 20 gold left. So we actually spent it pretty wisely because there's nothing for 20 gold, so we can't really spend it on anything else. So we're only wasting 20 gold there and we're heading in and it's awesome so now we have the helmet, the boots, and the sword upgrade uh... the, the farthest i've been is I've, I've found a chest upgrade and a or i found a chest upgrade a another type of uh... what's it called? cape and i found a different set of boots um, but other than that that's about all i've found Oh, I could have made it that. Either way. Okay. So. I hate these ones because you have to do the whole downward jump thing. Actually, I'm going to hop down here and kill this table. Oh. Okay. We got this. Yeah. Whoa! No, no, no! This is crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! No! Those guys are gigantic! That's crazy. I've never seen those enemies before. But there's all kinds of huge enemies and stuff that you have to fight in this game, and it's crazy. I've only fought the boss twice, um, so... And both times I've, I've not beat him, so... And there's probably more than one boss. So, I guess I'm going to play as this guy. He's gay. 
so he's a fan of men, and I remember things clearly, so, plus he's got the scythe skill, so it's always good, um, I can't really buy anything, so I'm gonna have to waste 50 gold, and this will probably be our last, our last little guy for this, this session, because we're running a little, er, got a pretty decent long episode going. But yeah, you guys understand pretty much the basic gist of the uh, the game now. I think we can kill this guy. Whoa! Oh. Oh, we didn't get to kill that guy. Okay. Okay, so there's spikes on the top. And we can't really kill any of these guys and steal their gold, so might as well not even try. Ah, I got you. Alright, so keep going. We're gonna head up here, see what's... Oh, fairy chest. Defeat all the enemies. These are hard... These are so hard. Oh, tons of gold. No, we were almost there. I've never opened a fairy chest before. Slammed by a McRib. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, either way, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.